Good morning and welcome to the second conference day. We are about to start today's sessions of the Social Finance Vibe 2023, Empowering the Future. I am very happy to be joined today by Michał Radziwiłł, manager at Impulse Belgium. Welcome Michał to Social Finance Vibe. Mm -hmm. This year is a special year for Impulse as it celebrates the conclusion of COPES, a very important fund that has operated in the region, helping to build strong and responsible microfinance sector in Europe. Throughout the 17 years, COPES invested in 11 countries, having 35 investees at its peak. Michal, please share with us your thoughts at this anniversary and your plans for the future. Thank you, Katia. Welcome, everybody. Uh, yes, uh, COPES was the first fund that Impulse managed. Uh, just to add to the info you shared, uh, during the life of COPES, we disbursed nearly 100 million euro and had just one partial default. As it is a closed-end fund, the money needs to go back to its investors, and this will be done by mid-2024. Uh, now, Impulse is managing uh, five other funds, and most of them are based on the experience gained by COPES. I will mention uh, just two of them, uh, Helenos, which is focusing mainly on equity investments in microfinance and social finance, uh, and Impact EU, uh, which is investing in loans for the same target group in Europe. Michal, congratulations to you, you and the entire team, and all the best with the implementation of the new funds. Thank you. Let's now hear stakeholders' reflections on COPEST. In my view, microfinance was a powerful tool to fight the poverty and uh, uh, empower the, the people who are doing the small businesses to, to develop and to improve their income in general. Microfinance in Europe is a tool for financial and social inclusion. It's an instrument to combat poverty. In the year 2011, we created a help for auto-employment in Spain to help women who were suffering from the crisis economic crisis. El impacto principal es el empoderamiento. Entonces tienes por un lado el apoyo personal a ella y además tienes el apoyo económico a su proyecto. Our complete structural portfolio is dedicated actually to support the entrepreneurs and the individuals who really need uh, uh, to be social and financially included in society. What we want to achieve is to help our customer to have access to finance, uh, to make them uh, able to grow themselves and their communities. Desde Trevay Solidario recomendaríamos trabajar con el programa Impulse, en primer lugar por el apoyo económico, pero también por eh, la exigencia en lo que es el control de los datos. Entonces esto te, te obliga a no solo hacer bien las cosas, sino también a recoger los datos para mostrarlos. Entonces, esto es un ejercicio de transparencia. We are dedicated to transform rural communities. Especially, we are dedicated to help uh, vulnerable individuals, females who need also support to bring the income to the families, support the children within the families. La clientèle de FAER uh, se compose uh, en grande partie de uh, différentes personnes actives de milieu rural, de Roumanie. The clients of Horizonte are mainly uh, people, self-employed people, family businesses, where uh, usually people are involved in uh, different uh, economic activities. We have around 95% of the clients are women. Around 50% comes from the rural areas. It is worth to mention that one of the maybe greatest achievement of Horizonte is successful outreach to the Roma community, which means we pay special attention to the marginalized and socially and financially excluded group. Moi, je crois dans la microfinance. Je le vois comme une, une vraie instrument de développement. It had a huge transformative role for its clients going forward. Is that feeling when the entrepreneur comes to you and say thank you? Congratulations again. We look forward to continuing the MFC and Impulse cooperation in the promotion of the new funds, Helenos and Impact EU. This event is another opportunity to celebrate together the MFC anniversary of our cooperation with the European Commission, the strategic partner and sponsor of this event. We would like to express our gratitude to all conference partners. Social Inclusive Finance Technical Assistance Program called SIFTA, managed by the European Investment Bank under InvestEU Advisory Hub, FICOMPAS, the, uh, the Council of Europe Development Bank, UNHCR, Impulse, Euclid, the Frankfurt School of Finance and Management, 
Financial Access Initiative at the New York University Wagner, Romanian and Hungarian Microfinance Associations. Moving on to the next agenda item, we would like to recognize 2023 leaders in the area of green inclusive finance. This is the third edition of this initiative. It was launched by the MFC to raise awareness of green good practices and reward those who are taking an extra mile and experiment in this field. Today, we would like to recognize the practices of two institutions, Bank of Cardica from Greece and Adi from France. Congratulations! Congratulations. Cooperative Bank of Cardica has been recognized for using digital solutions, increasing the sustainability of farming. Through the system uh, connected with satellites, they help the clients to monitor their crops. Clients can uh, save on water, fertilizers, and other costs. All technology is linked to risk assessment and their scoring tool. Also, the bank Cardica supports their clients with green products. Adi from France has been recognized for providing comprehensive support delivered to their clients in transiting their businesses into more greener. They offer green loans to finance greener transport means, run workshops, distribute fact sheets, and educate clients to help them understand how they can lower their business expenses while choosing greener solutions. Congratulations, Congratulations. again. If you would like to hear more about their practical experience, both Adi and Bank of Cardica, um, we, uh, we encourage you to attend the Talks with Leaders at 10 and 11 a.m. today. The conference agenda is built around three themes, social economy, vulnerable groups, and mega trends. You can choose from, from a number of talks with leaders where they share their practical experience of how they work on a daily basis, or you can attend open discussions with a variety of experts. If you have any issues connecting to sessions, visit our help desk under the link provided in the final reminder email about this conference. You can also access the help desk directly from the platform. As we have a few minutes left before the start of the next sessions, I encourage you to grab your coffee and get ready for the first one. Don't forget to join us for the conference closing at 2 p.m. to hear an inspirational talk from Timothy Ogden, the Managing Director at Financial Access Initiative at New York University Wagner. He will share with us extremely interesting thoughts about the risks of digitalization in microfinance. Enjoy the event.